Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we will do a demo on how to set up uh, anti phishing policies on O365, Defender for O365, and see it in action. In my last video, we saw capabilities of Defender for O365, and one of the capabilities was to set up anti phishing. So, what is uh, phishing? So, phishing is a kind of cyber attack where someone tries to gather information from you using deceptive email or website for example someone might send you an email which has a from address similar to your bank's email address and try to gather information from you so that email might have some link which might run some malicious content on your computer or it might ask you for some of your uh, personal information like bank account number password etc defender for office 365 and uh, exchange online protection both provide anti phishing capabilities but with the defender for o365 we get the capability to set advanced phishing thresholds so let's do a demo of it for that first of all i will go to protection.office.com and under that i will go to threat management and i will go to policy in last video i gave you a brief demo on what all these things are so you can watch my last video and get an idea of it so we will go under atp anti phishing under here we by default have this uh, default policy so this default policy applies to all the users and we cannot delete this default policy it has uh, the lowest priority and we cannot modify the rules so if we have any custom policy created high, so that will have higher priority than this uh, default policy and will apply and then this default policy will not apply so custom policy always has higher priority than default policy to create a policy we will click on create here we will give it a name so for example i can give custom 2 i already have custom 1 created and we will select a condition where we want to apply this policy to so if the recipient is uh, some email address or a member of some group or uh, is part of some domain so once i select any of these so for example i select here my domain name and then click on next and i will create this policy so i already created this policy because once we create the policy then we can modify it so i created a custom one policy and if i click on it here i see the settings so the priority is zero and it's applying to all the recipients who are part of anudev.co.in domain and these are the impersonation settings so i will click on edit and from here i could modify these settings add users to protect so here i could uh, specify up to 60 users internal or external who i want to protect so i want to protect these users from being impersonated for, for example if someone tries to send an email address which is uh, quite similar to these email addresses which we are protecting like test user 90212 or anuvasharmat then that email will be marked as a phishing email and also under domains to protect we can add uh, all our domains which we have registered in o365 and also add custom domains so if someone tries to send an email address from a domain which is quite similar to ours and it might be a phishing attempt so that email would be marked as a phishing email so we can specify up to 50 domains which will be checked for impersonation and here we select what happens if the email is sent by an impersonated user which we selected here add users to protect so the options here are here i have selected moved messages to recipients junk email we can select quarantine deliver the message and add other addresses to the bcc line delete the message before it's delivered don't apply any action or redirect a message to other email address and here we select what if uh, the email has been sent by an impersonated domain so i have also selected here move it to junk email folder here we enable the mailbox uh, intelligence so mailbox intelligence enables artificial intelligence uh, that determines users email pattern with frequent contacts and this helps uh, microsoft in judging the spoofed and legitimate email 
one thing i forgot to show you turn on impersonation safety tips so if i click here we can enable the tips for the recipient for example if they get an email from an impersonated user we can show the tips to the recipient show tips for impersonated domain or show tip for unusual character so if the email which is being sent has uh, some unusual characters like math characters mix of uppercase lowercase in protected sender or domain then they will get a tip for example here if i check this then if a user gets an email with the from address as an unusual character like here it's upper and lowercase mix or it has math characters then they will get a recommendation that you don't interact with this message and similar for impersonated domains and impersonated users under add trusted senders and domains so sometimes what happens you might get false positives for some domains or some users at that time you can add those hairs under trusted senders their email address or trusted domains then those messages will never be classified as phishing messages so you review your settings you save them so you have set the impersonation settings and similarly you set the spoof settings here so you click on edit so spoofing is uh, when someone sends an email address which doesn't match the domain of the email source it is uh, considered as spoof for example if someone is sending an email from a particular domain and office 365 does a lookup for that domain and it doesn't match the ip address of the source then that is marked as a spoofed email so here we can enable spoof intelligence which i have done and here we can enable unauthenticated sender question mark symbol so in this case uh, the user who gets the email in the outlook they will see a question mark symbol in the outlook's uh, sender photo for that email so they will know that it could be a spoofed email after that you select what you want to do with that uh, spoofed email so you can select either move it to junk email folder or quarantine the message so junk email is selected you review the settings and you save them then comes the advanced uh, phishing settings so this option is only available in uh, defender for o365 not in exchange online protection so you could select most aggressive to standard so these threshold control the sensitivity for applying machine learning models to messages so microsoft recommends the threshold to aggressive the more aggressive the setting is more are the chances of false positives these are my settings and let us see a demo of it so here i am protecting spoofing from these users anubasharma at anudev.co.in and this email address which is test user 90212 at gmail.com so i am protecting this user so if someone tries to spoof this email address test user 90212 at gmail.com and sends an email to anudev.co.in recipient which is here then that will be marked as a phishing email i created a gmail account called test user 90212 at gmail.com so i am trying to spoof test user 90212 at gmail.com so zero looks similar to o so i created a spoofed email 90212 and now i will send the email to anudev.co.in recipient and see what happens so i created this email sending it to anubhav sharma at anudev.co.in and i have put in please provide your bank account details and sending it from my spoofed email address and let us go to anubhav sharma anudev.co.in mailbox and see what happens here i am in my anubhav sharma anudev.co.in account and if i see in the inbox nothing here but if i go to junk email i could see that the email has come and it has landed in my junk folder because in the policy i selected the setting to move it to the junk folder and i could also change it to quarantine so let us do that and see what happens under actions i will change it to quarantine the message and save it so i have changed the settings to quarantine and sending the email again so i do not see anything in inbox or in junk email so this email in junk email is an older one but if i go to protection.office.com slash quarantine i could see the email here which i sent from my gmail id which has been marked as a phishing email and uh, 
it's here in the quarantine folder so this was a video on anti-phishing policy of uh, defender for 0365 and i hope you like this uh, demo please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my other videos where we will do demo of other defender for 0365 features thank you bye bye